how to create a cyanotype style image in Photoshop in just a few steps. I've already got my photo open and I want to adjust the brightness and contrast. So I went to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and now I'm playing with the different values within the image. The next step is to invert your image if you want a blue background. You can invert an image or you can leave it as you took it. I wanted this image to have a true cyanotype look with a dark blue background, so I inverted it. Now go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation. There is a preset cyanotype hue and saturation filter that you can apply to your image. I wanted to intensify the color of blue, so what I'm showing you here is you have control of the cyanotype filter. You can use it as it is, or you can change it to whatever color of blue that you would like. Traditional cyanotypes are truly cyan blue but this is your image and you can make it whatever shade of blue you'd like. Now I'm cropping my image in a little bit tighter to make it more powerful and use the rule of thirds. And as you can see, with layer adjustments, we can turn on and off the different adjustments. And I'm deconstructing my image here so you can see how all those adjustments layer on top of each other to create the final image. I want to change my image to a RG, from an RGB color profile to a CMYK color profile so I can print it. It's throwing me a error message and just saying, are you sure you want to change the color mode? And the answer is yes. As always, when you're finished with a project, you want to save it. I am saving this to my desktop as a layered Photoshop file in case I ever want to come back and change it. I always keep the layered Photoshop file and then I save it as a second image as a JPEG. So for today, I'm just saving these to my desktop and later I'll move them to my Google Drive. Thanks for watching!